Hi guys, it is me Nancy here, and I promised a Coachella video, um, but that video that I'm going to do is going to be kind of like a prep for it, um, I'm going to do it later on, but I have about three Coachella videos that I want to do, one will be like a vlog, because I kind of vlogged, two is going to be like things that I took to prep for it, and then this one is going to be kind of my concerns about Coachella before I went, and how my experience was with Coachella. So, I went to Coachella Weekend 2. Um, it was awesome. I had a great time. First question is, how did I get to afford to go to Coachella? Um, Alright, I I got Weekend 2 passes with the shuttle pass. Um, I got to afford it because I did payments on it. They let you um, pay your Coachella ticket through payments through a payment plan and that's what I got I got to do a payment plan to pay for my Coachella ticket um, and I got it with the shuttle pass um, and so I'm gonna explain the shuttle pass a little later um, second question is how did I get my hotel and what did I do if did I get a hotel because a lot of people got Airbnbs um, I got a hotel I got to stay at the Holiday Inn Express and my experience with that hotel was was superb like it was awesome um we got free breakfast and by the time we went to the festival we were like good like we ate breakfast we had a refrigerator we had a microwave you'll see that in my vlog um and it was just the best um so i got it through my triple a i did get a discount with it um if you know what triple a is it's kind of like a a program for like auto insurance things that i have i don't know anyways that's how i got it their concern was that i didn't i okay when i google coachella i never see plus size people i never see fat people and i know that sounds weird but my concern like i would go on reddit and i would read how many miles people would like walk in a day like it was crazy um so i was really concerned like am i gonna be able to do it am i gonna be able to like hang in there because i'm plus size i'm a fat person and i sweat and i get tired easily like am i gonna be able to do it so let me tell you yes you can do it i saw so many plus size women so many plus size men dressed awesome and you can do it i can do it you can do it don't be scared do it jump go it's fun it's awesome um it was definitely a great experience and i loved it i mean i'm gonna go next year hopefully i get to go because it was awesome um so don't let your weight affect your choice to go to Coachella. I just fourth question. Um, I got to go to weekend two with again my shuttle pass, and this is where I go with the shuttle. Okay, shuttle pass. You're able to get the shuttle pass, um, when you buy your ticket, or if you just buy the ticket and you forget about the shuttle pass. I think it's sixty dollars afterwards. Um, definitely saved my life. Let me tell you why. Because the shuttle passed, we got to stay in the Holiday Inn Express. And in front of the hotel, there's an Albertsons. And that was our shuttle pass, um, shuttle stop um, in front of the Albertsons. And um, there's about three hotels near us. So everybody that was in those hotels got to, that was our our stop to go to Coachella. The bus will be like a, maybe a 15 minute drive, 20, 15 to 20 minute drive to get to Coachella. And they will drop us off about, I don't know, less than half a mile maybe to Coachella, to the entrance. Some people that were getting Ubers to Coachella or were getting taxis or were being dropped off, they had to walk some even had to walk three miles. Some people had to walk two miles, a mile and a half. Like, it was insane. Um, so, a lot of people getting Airbnbs didn't have shuttle passes. So, they would have to walk further than what we were walking. This passed saved myself so much walking. Because our interest walk was literally nothing compared to other people you can even drive to where you can get a shuttle as long as you have this you can get on the shuttle and they have like free parking there so i don't know why people didn't do that some people didn't do that i don't know why but you can even drive you know leave your car there and get on the shuttle and then you know it was better for you to take the shuttle than drive to coachella basically um 
So I have heard that because Coachella has kind of made a deal with Palm Springs or Palm Desert, where Coachella is, um, to make it easier for people to go to a festival, not be so crowded with cars, that they made this. So this is very helpful. I recommend it. We, I'm as a fat person, as a plus size girl that does not like long walks because, girl, I'll be sweating and tired and out of breath. This saved my life, okay? Um, so we didn't do a lot of walking to the entrance because you have to walk to the entrance. Pretty much it. That's Those were my concerns for Coachella. Um, I did have to drive up there. I drove about about two to three hours um, Friday. And um, I drove back on Monday morning because I had to work, which you get the day off um, if you're going to go. Get the, the, the following Monday off because, girl, you're going to be tired. Um, but, yeah, it was it was fun. I loved it. Um, stay tuned for my vlog. I did vlog some of it, and um, it was awesome. I, I wanted to kind of put this out there because I went on Reddit, and Reddit can really fuck your mind up because... A lot of people on there have a different experience that you would, and I understand that completely, but I had general admission. I didn't have VIP. I didn't have um, someone inviting me to Coachella. I paid myself. I put my money. I saved my own money to go to Coachella, and a lot of people here on YouTube kind of mislead it because um, they get invited, and they have VIP, and they have, like, you know, it's just different. I'm no one that's going to get invited. I'm just a regular person that paid her own way to go to Coachella. So I hope this helped. If you're thinking about going next year, um, yeah, that's it. Bye.